I want to say to you that caribou clothing is the very best clothing in the world. This is basically why caribou survives in the Arctic, because of the fur. And um, there's no other clothing in the world that competes with caribou skin clothing. Because uh, caribou skin uh, clothing is an extremely good clothing. It's warm. And the fact that um, if you happen to fall in the water at minus 40 or minus 50 at the flow edge, or when you're out uh, uh, hunting uh, on a lake and you go through a thin spot uh, on the ice and you fall through the ice. I've done this. It happened to me a couple of times in the past and I've seen other people. If you fall through the ice, for example, out at the flow edge, and it can happen, it happened to people, and it happened to me. You can undress right away at minus 40 or minus 50, put the caribou skin, or co your clothing, out inside out, and step on the caribou clothing on the snow, and, and the snow, the water, will be absorbed by, uh, by snow. And um, in a few minutes later, you put it back the way it was, and you put it on again, and you're warm for the rest of the day. So there's nothing that competes with caribou clothing. You can you can wear, sure, kabluna um, clothing, you know, things like that, snow goose, uh, uh, snow goose clothing, clothing or anything like that, down clothing. Well, if you happen to fall in the water with one of those in the, in the water at minus 40 or minus 50, your clothing will freeze, and you freeze to death. And that's what uh, that's what can happen, but no matter how you do it today, our young people, young women in particular, even young men, they have to learn how to sew, how to sew caribou clothing, because without clothing, at winter time, especially in the winter time in the Arctic, in Nunavut or within Inuit homelands, you cannot go without caribou clothing. Period. 